Lace from My Cupcake Addiction and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to make these amazing and adorable Tinkerbell cupcakes that are actually easier than they look. Let's get started. I've got the whole assortment of fairies here today. I'm just going to be showing you how to make the one and I'm going to be showing you how to make the star of the show, Tinkerbell. So you're going to need a little Tinkerbell doll and your other little fairy dolls. I just picked mine up at a local toy store and you can also take a look on eBay for these. I've got some Wilton Gold Colour Mist Spray. I'm also using a spoon, a serrated edge knife, a spatula. I've got a straw. I've got my cupcakes, of course, and I've also made you guys some gorgeous little printable cupcake wrappers that team with the theme of all of these different coloured fairies. So I will link to that template in the description box below. I made a batch of our perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting and then I just tinted it in my different colours. So a little bit of green and a little bit of each of the other colours you see here. I've also got a disposable piping bag and I'm pairing that today with a leaf piping tip. So a leaf piping tip basically has like a little triangle cut out of a flat end to give you two little points. It makes really cute leaf shapes. Now the first thing you need to do is wrap your little Tinkerbell. So I recommend either taking her shoes off or making sure that you've really, really wrapped them well in that plastic wrap and wrap her nice and tight so you're squeezing her legs together and wrapping it in that plastic wrap. Make sure that you're also wrapping her clothes right up to the waistline. Take one of your cupcakes now and just very lightly trim off any sort of a domed top and do the same with your other. You're going to need two cupcakes per one of your Tinkerbell doll cupcakes. Once you've got them trimmed, you want to take a straw and you're just going to make sort of a little guide hole so that when you do stick your Tinkerbell's legs in, she doesn't push your cupcakes out of shape too much. So I just kind of cut in like two little straw shapes to make a bit of a, a, bit of a start spot for Tinkerbell to pop into that cupcake. Unwrap one of your cupcakes. So you only need one of those printable cupcake wrappers per two cupcakes to make each individual cupcake. And then just get your straw and make sure that those little guide holes do go all the way through before taking some of that frosting in the piping bag and just kind of even just messily apply a little bit of that frosting on top of that base cupcake. Your unwrapped cupcake should be facing you, so you're looking at the bottom of it. And then you just want to take your serrated edge knife and you're just going to lightly trim off the edges to give it sort of a rounded, more domed kind of an appearance before sticking it straight on top of that base cupcake. Putting this in the freezer at this point for five or 10 minutes will just help freeze that frosting and hold it in place. And then you want to take some of your frosting again and just really, really roughly pipe it on top before using a knife to smooth it out. So if you've frozen that base section, it'll make this a lot easier. It'll stop that top cupcake from sliding around. Now you need to take Tinkerbell and just position her legs into those little guide holes that you poked with the straw. Try and make her as straight as possible here all the way down into the waist and don't worry if her waist pokes up a little bit or you can see some plastic wrap because we're going to cover that in frosting. So with your leaf tip here, you want to make sure that this point is facing up towards you or up towards the sky and then you're just squeezing out and you can see that as you squeeze and then drag, the leaf tip actually makes like the little center line of a leaf and then it tapers off to a point. So this kind of gives us that roughly leafy effect of Tinkerbell's dress. You want to keep doing that exact same effect all the way around the bottoms of the cupcake and when you get up to the top, make sure that you come right in close to her waist and just pull out some really, really small leaves for a little bit of detail. For final touches, you just want to take some of that Wilton Gold Colour Mist, give it a good shake and with this mist you always want to hold it about 20 or 30 centimetres away from your cupcake and just spray in some short, sharp bursts. So you don't want to do a continuous spray, you're going to use way too much. Just a couple of those short, sharp bursts gives her the sprinkle of pixie dust that every fairy needs to enable the gift of flight. So that completes our beautiful Tinkerbell Fairy and Friends cupcake tutorial. These are a gorgeous addition to any fairy party, but they're also a fabulous favour because you've got the cake and you've also got that gorgeous take-home toy. The dolls I used for these were about five inches high, not including their wings, and I got mine at a local Woolworths store here in Australia. If you're going to make these, make sure you try and track those dolls down a little bit in advance, just in case you find them a bit hard to find. For all of your fairy and princess party needs, check out my princess party playlist. I will link to that in the description box below. It also includes this awesome Tinkerbell piñata cake, which is full of candy and the perfect accompaniment to these beautiful cupcakes. Thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction. Thank you.